thousand. So the bonus will go from six thousand to nine thousand, and then the accuracy will go from fifty to seventy-five. That's kind of what I think they need. Hey, what's up? This is Chosen. Happy Monday to you. It's time to get the week kicked off for Raid Shadow Legends. We've got a bonus legendary event for Sacred Shards starting tomorrow. And we have also got some crazy changes to blessings coming down the line that we just heard about this morning. We'll go over the calendar for the Great Hoof Lori Aka events and keep you in the loop of everything happening in Raid as we get the week started. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so as far as the summoning event, we have got on Tuesday, which is going to be tomorrow, an extra legendary event for Sacred Shards. Now, typically, extra legendary events are actually technically the best way to acquire legendaries consistently over the long haul of a massive sample size with your account. But there's important things to consider, like you may want to save up your Sacred Shards for a guaranteed summon event or probably do to get one in the next two or three weeks and also you're not double dipping with a fragment or a fusion or anything like that so it's really going to depend on you and your account but if you kind of skew towards a mid game end game player who is an above average spender it may be worth a consideration to pull during the bonus legendary event because they're technically better than a 2x events because of the way that the mercy system works 2x events do not benefit or change or alter or make better the mercy system which means it scales the math towards bonus legendary events actually being a little bit better than 2x for just legendary acquisition but then i'll read to you what plarium said about some of the changes they're making to blessings they say as we want blessings to help more effectively when dealing with complex content that is already in the game and that is yet to be released so i just wanted to share a few details regarding the blessing rebalance that is going live with the upcoming update the existing stat bonus of level six blessings will be increased. Epic and rare blessings will get 25% increase and legendary blessings will get 50% more of a stat increase. And the way this works is like whatever of the stats you're getting, the raw stats like HP and accuracy for the popular brimstone. That means when you get to level six, that bonus will be increased. Now, some people are going to think this is a good thing because it's going to help uh, the blessings be a little bit more impactful. And some people are going to think this is a bad thing because most of the time, the only people with six star blessings are going to be your high spender whale type players. This means that the gap between the whales and like the mid game players and stuff is going to get even larger. So the way that I'm interpreting this when I read the announcement is that, you know, with Brimstone, you're going to get a bonus to HP and accuracy. Brimstone is a legendary blessing, which means that the bonus is going to be 50%. So you've got 5,000 plus 1,000 is 6,000 HP. 50% of that is 3,000. So the bonus will go from 6,000 to 9,000. And then the accuracy will go from 50 to 75. That's kind of what I think they mean here by the rebalance to making the raw stat bonus get a bump when a blessing gets to six star. And we'll do a poll over on the channel and I would love to hear your thoughts down below on if you think this is a good thing or if you think it's a bad thing because it kind of caters towards increasing the gap between the haves and the have nots and the middle uh, tier spenders and the whales. And then if we pull up the Great Hoof Lori Aka calendar, you can see that right now we are here on Monday, June 12th. So this week we'll kind of go through here. Now I messed this up twice in two different videos because I need more coffee in the morning. But anyway, I, you know, I said that there's gonna be a summon rush double dipping the next weekend and there isn't. It's actually the next weekend. My brain was uh was getting these weekends mixed up because of how the, the, the shard rotations and all of that have been going. So anyway, there is not gonna be any sort of shard double dipping with your great hoof loriaka this week it's going to be mostly focusing on like the champ training event is going to be a big one that lasts for a few days and you've got your dungeon divers that's a really long one going all the way up until friday so that's like the two main things you're gonna to have to grind a lot this week your ice golem will double dip a little bit here with the with the uh, dungeon divers and you'll also have the artifact enhancement you'll have to upgrade a few of those and then you'll have another one later in the week and then the next weekend which i believe is going to be just kind of a normal 10x or guaranteed event type of a weekend because i think this weekend here like friday through sunday i believe this is going to be 2x voids if plarium holds serve with their normal stuff and then that means the next weekend over here will be some sort of 10x that double dips down here with the summon rush that's going to be happening as we come to a close on concluding the great hoof loriaka fragments
also in game we are approaching the final week of the doom tower so i just like to casually remind you once a week or so to kind of take note of that and right now we have one of the best sets up for grabs in the dark fey lethal set farming so if you're able to build a team for her it'll be a good time to scoop up some really good gear under the tournaments tab we kind of went over this a little bit so i'll go quick but the ice golem tournament is going to be double dipping with the dungeon divers going on and then you also want to make sure you finish up your classic arena takedown today and scoop up the fragments for loriaka if you're going for that this is the dungeon divers event that double dips with the ice golem and then the artifact enhancements that you're going to want to get done in the next couple days to scoop up your fragments and then you'll have that few days of champion training like we showed on the calendar if you're not going for Loriaka, then really the only thing you really want to take note of right now is going to be the bonus legendary event and deciding if it makes sense for you on your account to be yellowing the sacreds if you have enough to like for me I'm, I'm lucky enough to have been playing for a long time and been hitting the clan boss for years and have a good amount of sacred saved up i don't like the thing is with the inflation it's possible these guaranteed events are going to be 20 25 sacreds so I mean, I do still need a decent amount of legendaries and empowerments and stuff, so it wouldn't be the worst decision for me. I'm going to kind of mow it over the rest of the day and decide if it's worth it for me to YOLO for the bonus event because it usually is, but you can st but the mercy system for sh uh the mercy system for sacreds is so bad that you can still get screwed over and end up pulling like 20 20 something before you get that legendary effect so i don't know I, i'm kind of on the fence on if i'm going to personally pull for the bonus legendary event or not but i might and then is there anything noteworthy in the shop um da -da 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 -da. no um we've got a pack string here with energy mostly just kind of average pricing there um great deal the gift and then we uh, yeah okay so unfortunately really i mean every, all this stuff is mostly just kind of normal par for the course decent stuff none of this warrants like a deep dive discussion hopefully we'll get a better offer now sacreds usually are the worst in terms of all the shards and their pricing so i don't expect there to be some super good sacred offer in relation to the uh in, in relation to the bonus legendary event tomorrow but if there is i'll keep you in the loop on tomorrow uh on tomorrow morning's daily wrap-up video boom there we have it remember to subscribe on your way out if you enjoy daily raid shadow legends content and i will get some polls over on the community tab here of the channel to let the community voice their thoughts on if you're going to be pulling for the bonus legendary event on sacreds tomorrow and then also to voice your opinions on the balancing of the six star blessings getting the 50 percent bonus to stats so i appreciate all of you i'll see you soon in the next video thanks for watching peace